and welcome to Gaming Cult Podcast Does Hard for Boyfriend. Live here at Room 801 Convention, I'm your host Jake Innes. With me is Zach Innes. That's me, on the screen. And everywhere, internet, live here in Sydney. Uh, we're going to play Hard for Boyfriend. Yeah, yeah we are. It's a, it's a fun game. Can we, we've said this like, I'm sorry, we've said this like a thousand times, but we'll actually play it now. <laughs> so, I'm going to let give you the idea to see exactly. Perfect. Let's do Tell it. Tell us a little bit about the game. The wonders of this game. This beautiful, beautiful game. Um, fairly long. I mean, it's pretty old. It's done all through famous writers. It's coded all in famous writers, so it's very, very touchy, and it's a real pain in the ass to work with, but the end result is always worth it time after time. So, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Amongst other dating sims I've played is Water Closet, The Forbidden Chamber, and numerous others, but maybe that's for another time, which is a little bit more not safe for work. Yeah, definitely. Um, can we get public votes on names? What do we think? Fuck. Last name. Yowie. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Do <Dory. laughs> And to Yuri. Yuri, yeah! Perfect. Uh, I like it. Totally, totally, yes, that is just fine. <laughs> That's however happened. Okay. Do you want me to like help narrate? Yeah, I didn't well? narrate, just Oh, are we doing a speed run? What do you guys want? Do you want like a sort of a, a kind of a walkthrough or do you want us to set the world record right here now? No, it's, it's, right? all, it's, all, it's all about story. Okay, very, okay. very important. Do we want the human portraits to go along with the bird portraits? Birds only? Hundred percent right. birds confirmed. Let's go. <laughs> Here we are at Pigeon Nation. Uh, a school blessed with extensively <laughs> curricula and facilities, so it's very high class, probably private school. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say, this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. <laughs> birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeon Nations. The teaching staff and student Wait, body- Wait, stop! The name! St. <laughs> Pigeon Nations! St. Pigeon Nations! <laughs> I'm often asked why I chose to come here, despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Beautiful. Yota, usually you'd, be, you'd been ready for an hour by now, Yuri. Overslept? <laughs> As you can see, Gora is a rock dove. We've been friends since That's a goddamn pigeon! It's a rock dog! <laughs> I know a pigeon when I see it. They I've had I've had families of pigeons nest on my balcony. That is a pigeon. Rock dog my ass. Rock dog. It's more romantic. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so in this world, humans are hunter-gatherers, so we're like pig disgusting subhuman scum. <laughs> Meanwhile, the real humans in this are pigeons all along. I don't know, it, it works. Basically, the protagonist yourself is the last female living on Earth. Something like, Jake, we gotta get to class, please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, I'm so sorry. And so we went into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. I just say shouts out to the staff at Room 801. We have candy supplied. Thank you, candy. Thank you, base God. First time. I think we're in 2 3. Ryota and I are in the same Ryota. class. Completely. No! Ryota. No! I'm sorry, we're in Australia, we speak Australian. Ryota kun. <laughs> Australia. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Nanaki, I'm gonna be your teacher this year. I've got hots for teacher, let's do it. I specialize in math and physics. And also some other things. Let's find out. <laughs> so wake up, it's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open. Fun fact, sharks also do that. <laughs> Nanaki Kazaki. I've heard rumors, but I 
I didn't expect him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. A little bit of a mangy look, but I do think that the beauty lies inside in this case. <laughs> Gross, no. Every bird is beautiful. Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow! Fucking beauty queen! 10 out of 10! 10 out of 10! Wood nest with! That's awesome! <laughs> What's the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Oh, please treat me like your pleb. Oh well, I guess that's that. Just calm down. I know. Calm down, my brother. Okay. <laughs> Heartbroken too fast. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break rules like that, sir. The system will collapse. <laughs> La <Labelle. laughs> Maybe French? I don't know. Wow. He's a looker. His, his feathers will make any birdies proud. Shirogane la belle sakia. Yep. Sort of like French royalty migrated to feudal era Japan kind of thing. First Western settlers, that kind of thing. I think they migrated in the spring. But also a bird. Well, sure. Today is slipping yeah. by so quickly. I've had all these books from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Music's pretty good in this. Yeah, the soundtrack's great. Yeah. Hello. A morning dove. Oh. Does that mean it's lamenting the loss of something? Or you'll see. This this one's an interesting character. Or is it a different? Is it an actual species of dove? The morning dove. I have no. It's it's dove. But okay. Mournful music, it's very sallow. You'll see why. Yeah. Speaking of which, has anyone actually played this game before? <laughs> I'm <I'm Yoli> Yuri. <laughs> Good name choice. Good name choice. Nagaki <laughs> Fushiro. He's a morning dove. So do we like stuck up or like so. deep and brooding? Deep and brooding is always harder. I'm down for that. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, thank God, someone already knows. <laughs> yeah, hands up anyone here who's actually played this game. Who's played uh, multiple endings of this game? Wow, okay. Got some diehards. Fantastic. Uh, well, Zach, can you just tell us a little bit about the background of the game? In what terms? Well, how did this come about? Why did someone make this? Someone had the hots for pigeons, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's pretty Go goddamn ahead. simple. So Why was Mythbusters made? People want science. Why was this made? People want to fuck birds. I don't know. <laughs> Shouts out. <laughs> Too generic. Sounds like a Yuya. They have some friends throughout the school. Everybody knows of him. <laughs> Too popular, poor. Are we, are, are we slut shaming birds already? Is that what's happening? Jake, look at All that right. plumage! <laughs> <laughs> Too, oh my God. too popular. Too, like not, not enough. Like you know, mix too it fast, up. too furious. Uh, <laughs> I guess <laughs> it's too cool, too furious. But let's go for it. <laughs> it's too fast, too furious. <laughs> All right, someone needs to do a BL spin-off. Too fast, too curious. <laughs> <laughs> First day of school goes by quick. So where's Ryuta? He said he was going to the infirmary. Yes, yeah, no shit. It's it's happening. Yes. 
I just had a thought. Uh, last night at the uh, the swap meet, there was a bunch of AMVs, anime yes. AMVs playing over the um, the PA and the uh, projector. What if uh, I've got this new idea? I want to run it past you know the experts here. What if you were to make a reverse AMV? So you take you take a bunch of footage from like an Evanescence or a Linkin Park <laughs> video, and then you set it to Rock the Dragon or Head Shall R over, yeah. over the top of it. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, I've been, I've been beaten to the punch then. But there you go, re reverse AMVs. <laughs> yes, I need you. Let's go for it. <laughs> Fan of the more stately, you know, old uh, professional birds. Yes. Can we get a show of hands, possibly. I'm sorry, but I've already yeah. chosen. Yeah. Go we're going for shoe. We're yeah. going for shoe yeah. for this run through because that's the doctor, right? Doctor yeah. Shoe. It's yeah. the most entertaining. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. We're gonna go dark. <laughs> what a sportly bird. <laughs> this is no pudding for a man. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the one that is actually just a bird and doesn't speak English at all. <laughs> He's he has two like things that he loves, running and pudding, and that's it. and that's it. Fuck us man. Well so is bird. this like, is it post-apocalyptic? Have like all the humans died out and now there's just birds? I think we live in a cave in this game, so it, yeah, yeah, wow. we live in a cave, so that's... <laughs> I counted at least 14 puddings in like three clicks, it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Congratulations, you solved the mystery. <laughs> I think you want to choose the class council today, as you all know the school doesn't require you to join any club. <laughs> Nepotism, oh! <laughs> Uh, no extracurriculars, he's too boring and plain. Student council, track team, or library staff. Library, st library, library staff! staff. Okay. I like reading, let's do it! That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. <laughs> Math, gym, music. Music? Definitely. Yeah. Alrighty, let's see. Hey, look, we got them all. We got Beethoven, we got Mozart, we got some other guys that, like, you know, I wouldn't know. Let's go for it. Alright, charisma. Sweet. <coughs> oh yeah, the stats in this game are absolutely meaningless until, like, it, unless, it, unless you follow Shu's storyline. Yeah, like, Shu's storyline, but that that's... That would be spoilers, though. Yeah, that would be spoilers. It's very quiet. Yeah, well, it's, it's, a it's a library. Shh. Fuck. He's like cool. He's surly. Books are nice. Books I like are nice. I like books. Why don't you join the library staff? I already read whatever I want. Yeah, <laughs> 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 
I don't understand why they have like human sized chairs and shit. Oh, look, we're back at our cave. I love <laughs> our, fine, our fine dwelling. Also, I love how everybody was like quiet because there was a library. <laughs> 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 How the with, fuck yeah, do exactly, I make udon? I've got like a pile of burnt sticks and rocks. <laughs> Today is the hike. We've stopped outside for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? I know. Uh, fuck it. I want to hear. I want to hear about pudding for the next like thirty minutes. Let's go. For it. Pudding can be found on hikes. Is there any kind of pudding that lives in the mountains? Oak someone else searches elsewhere for the pudding. A bird sounded like a car. Say it's an elected day, what should I do? Jim. Too hot. I feel like I'm gonna have a stroke. You gotta get buff from them birds. Good. It is re it is rehydration time. He wants to go swimming. More useful stats. Why? Why is this the only bird that's a bird? Completely 100. <laughs> because it likes to go swimming, eat pudding, and run. Of course. That's not an explanation. It's what it's what birds do apparently. <laughs> what are you going to do? I've already finished with asking the question, why am I dating the birds? <laughs> Put that past me. I just like how he refers to himself in the third person. That's hot. I like that. <laughs> Being a cheerleader. Jim, we Matt, we are going to get the world record at this point. Yeah, we're going I'm going to contact speed, rec speed, <laughs> speed Run Archives right away. Let them know that we got it's the third leg of race. What is, is there a oh, What should I do? Check. I'll have to think about it. Yeah. yeah, but you probably need to run the game at like 500% speed, just like hammering it. <laughs> Forget storyline. <laughs> it's run. like Russian roulette with which bird you fuck. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the... First aid ten. <laughs> Salutations. Did you gaze into my eyes, one of me? That's the first aid ten. I just want to know how they'd operate on me, a human the whole time. That's always heard a lot of birds, but you. It's resting in the shade of the tree, some distance away. It's <laughs> Kalish. Birds have pet birds. <laughs> Shake, that's a dumb question. Of course they don't. They have pet humans. Of course God damn a, it. Of course that's a dumb question. <laughs> Yowie. Yes? <laughs> so fucking stupid. Well, we did well at sports. We didn't play a single sport, but we did well, apparently. Great. With the festival in the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but the summer heat. Dove smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. <laughs> what, do, what does a bird smell like? I know the ones at the zoo smell like shit, but like... <laughs> then again, the zoo's just like a fucking horrible smelling place anyway. Oh, fuck off! I want the doctor, not you! <laughs> Brian, the first intelligent pr pigeon, ground again. <laughs> Brian, don't tell me you don't know who he is. Okay? Okay, we're getting some history, sweet. <laughs> what a fine specimen! <laughs> He began when birds were barely intelligent. <laughs> He's a very skilled and insightful rider. He was one who's just the double Olympics be called the Pigeon that's, Olympics. That's a dumb idea. No, we're not calling them that. <laughs> He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. <laughs> Brian Pigeon. Wait, hold the fuck up. Give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. We're going there. Oh, um, our special guest. We have Gerard here. Tiger, he joined us at PAX, uh, PAX Tiger, there just for the people at home. And, um, oh, stay. We have Kaji in the house. 
<laughs> no, quiet, he's sleeping. There it is! It's there! <laughs> Under consent confirmed, Brian, most intelligent pigeon on earth. 2015, you're the pigeon? I don't know, perhaps. You're telling me now he's the pigeon in London. I have to, I have to. Uh oh, lunch is nearly over. Adieu. What effort. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Today is a good day, I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during the break. Go to the... Infirmary! <laughs> We're really sick all the time. <laughs> the only cure is love. Come here. Are you ill? Um, not exactly. You're even stranger than I thought. I'm fascinated. How? <laughs> <laughs> I got kicked out. You're a prude. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'd know, but there's an elected day. What should I do? We're going to maths. No, maths and math mathematics. Mathematics? <laughs> Eric would argue. <laughs> Wisdom increased by five. Yeah. We did absolutely fucking nothing in maths and No, we did it! <laughs> we got smarter! We're smarter by, associa by association. There's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year. I think I'll go make a wish. It's probably nicer than the cave. That's much nicer than the cave. That is a lot nicer than the cave. Uh, there's lots here. Hey, Birdie, I know. I like oh. the <laughs> Morning conference, sleep. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Just who grants my wish and how? I wish for shoes wish. Con oh. By force! <laughs> What good is a rain if there is not blood in the path? Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, you should be careful. It's about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? No! <laughs> Rejected. <laughs> only Shut the, down. Only the finest birds for me. <laughs> Doctors provide for me, they earn a lot of money, it's great. Elective day, attend. We're going mu uh, music was boring, let's go gym. So Oh I no, I clicked on the wrong one! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> what am I supposed to be, the musical gorilla? No, you're a fucking bird, duh. It's like eating a beef bowl in Persona 4 when you're already maxed out on beef bowl stats. <laughs> <laughs> Yowie, yeah, sir. I'm so glad that we're with a uh, audience that can actually get a dumb joke like that. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, audience. Thank you for spending too much, oh, like too much on games that you probably had to import. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a semester already. It's summer. All right. Today is the closing ceremony, so there are fewer birds in here than usual. Is it quite enough? Are we in a lull that I can throw a plug in? What do you think? Um, yeah, but do, yeah, but do it quietly. <laughs> we have a podcast. It's a Gaming Cult Podcast, and you can go to it, gamingcult.org. If you search Gaming Cult... Quieter. If you search Gaming Cult Podcast on iTunes, you'll find it. It won't even cost you a thing. It's free. <laughs> it's free! <laughs> and if you go... There, we have another show too called Genre Cult, and it's about music. Uh, we talked about this game back in, we talked about this game back in tw 2012. And Zach, my little man. and as a result, Zach was on the wiki page for like two years. <laughs> I was, it was awesome. And then some heartless fuck removed me, even though I, po even though I popularized that goddamn game. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look down on light novels. Uh, we also talked about, uh, our first year we also talked about a game called Sugiban Shacho Rena, which was a game that came out on the Nintendo Wii in Japan. 
and it's notorious for being the lowest selling video game of all time. It sold 100 copies. This is a uh, Wii game that only came out in Japan. Uh, basically, it's a game where you're a salary man, you know, you go to, you go to work, <laughs> normal day, and then you get to work and your office has been taken over by cats. <laughs> the cat, the cat is your boss. And you have to basically deal with this new manager, Renna, who's now the boss cat, and your manager, and you have to appease the cat by playing piano with it, thank you. Which way did I come from? Don't fail me now, paleolithic homing instincts. <laughs> <laughs> Sun setting, I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you. Sure? Nope. <laughs> oh my. Apparently it's a sparrow, not a finch. How did you know that? Do you date birds? Would you like to take over? <laughs> we got bird brains in the audience. <laughs> Shouts out to birds. Why does he have like the best theme out of anyone? <laughs> you ran out all the way from there, you must be good. <laughs> this is dramatic. Yeah, I'm motivated. I like the cut of your chin. Anyone that deserves, deserves a ride home, come on! The intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. <laughs> it's a little small, but we could both fit. A zombie, alright. I don't know if the music sits so well with the background. <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> hey, we got a free ride home, whatever. You're a very cautious driver. <laughs> Carve it into your soul, kid! <laughs> Oh, deep background, deep background. Do you think we'll get there by dawn? Carve it into your soul. <laughs> <laughs> the speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. Birds can fly faster than that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> that rule is for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. <laughs> uh, jobs are for losers, forget it. <laughs> Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with anybody or some birdie. Ah, uh, son. <laughs> Is it true that you will take Okasan to wonderful places? <laughs> yes. Oh well. <laughs> perhaps even pudding. Perhaps Okasan. Perhaps. <laughs> the fireworks are starting. <laughs> He's lost himself. He's in a mini or craze. First day of school, first day of school, let's do it. Oh, hello, Yali. <laughs> Sir, I'm sorry, I overslept. Ah, that bird has a dumb face. <laughs> it does have a dumb face. Start grading the freshman's exams. Return to my glorious abode. Did you write this? <laughs> this looks like your writing. Did you do the patch for this? If only. <laughs> Speaking of which, this is a English patch but that's fan made. It's done very well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the beauty of it. I need to go and I understand the people with the spoils of war. <laughs> of course!
For those of you plebs who didn't get it, that was an Alexander the Great reference. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us to our I didn't get it. <laughs> we of the Hawk Party cannot overlook these situations. We already knew of the human oh, nature. So Holy fuck. <laughs> I think I just heard something. What the fuck was that? Judges! <laughs> <laughs> just got checked, son. Holy fuck, here we go. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? I have never seen this! What the fuck happened? I was romancing birds, then I died and got a free iPhone 4S. <laughs> I clicked one of those internet ads or something. <laughs> oh my god. But well, what the fuck do we do now? <laughs> uh, that was Gaming Cult Podcast, us out of a boyfriend. <laughs> Uh, if you'd like to check out our show, please do. Uh, GamingCult.org. We've got two different podcasts, three Twitch streams. It's all, it's all free. We're about to put out a uh, compilation called Gaming Cult Tracks. Different artists all around the world, about 30 different tracks. That's going to be free Bandcamp release as well. Um, yeah, we're always busy with stuff, so yeah. please check us out. And yes, we have our exclusive B GCP Bird Boyfriends shirt which we have out at the Gaming Cult booth out there. It's $25, along with all our other shirts. We have them in women's and men's sizes. Super limited exclusive for this convention. Um, thank you very much for coming. I highly recommend this game. Go home, play it, enjoy it. Maybe you'll get further than I did. I fucking <laughs> suck. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's do this outro. We're doing that outro. And hey, if you're watching on YouTube now, subscribe. See me? See the millions of me? I have never seen that. Farewell. I know. Oh my god, that ended perfectly on time. <laughs> I could not believe it.